Hi guys, I'm filming from somewhere different today inside my car because that's real life and I'm in between taking a kiddo to dance and a kiddo to football. So Ethan is helping me out today and holding the camera. So thanks Ethan. Um, I'm gonna try to be really quick today since we've got other places to go to. But um, first I just wanted to say thank you for all the messages. I've been getting so many messages from so many people saying um, that they're enjoying the videos down to maybe God using in them using them to encourage them or even just uh, women messaging me and saying you know I'm just glad to know that I'm not the only one who feels that way and that they can identify with maybe something I've said and I think that that's a really powerful thing when we can know that we're not alone so thanks for the encouragement and today I want to share a story with you guys about community and the importance of sorry it's kind of loud walking closely with people a few years ago back in like 2014 our family started um, the journey of foster care. We started welcoming uh, foster kiddos into our home and we did that for a period of a little over two years and had 13 different kiddos that came in and out of our home for various reasons. And, um, and this is a story from that time. So we got a call, our first placement, and um, got a call about two and said that this little boy had been taken into custody and you know what we take him told us what they could and they can't tell you everything but kind of just tell you what they can and um we of course said yes we will and he ended up you know coming to our house just a few hours later and during this time when you're preparing to take in foster placements i mean we had a room and we had some things but you don't really know what age you're getting you don't know if you're getting someone who was just born a newborn or if you're going to get um a placement that is is much older but anyway um, from the time that I got the call until the time that our first little placement uh, came to our home I our community the people that we walk with our fellow believers had just shown up with clothing and sippy cups and plates and car seats and just everything diapers and this just continued and continued to happen and um, I want to tell you about this one story this we got our a newborn once and I won't release the name but he was a little baby boy and we were kind of into the fostering journey at this point and just every single placement it was just like God would provide through our community anyway um, we got the call we went to the hospital to pick up the little baby boy and got home and my husband called and said hey I'm gonna be leaving work in a couple hours what do we need because that's what we would do whatever we didn't get we would go to Walmart and we would just buy it because these little honeys don't come with anything they come with what's on their back and um, and so I said well you know what actually I said this little baby had some things from the hospital and his mama had a few things picked out for him too and she sent those so we have a few things I made a list well and from the time that I hung up with my husband until the time he called me back was maybe about two hours and during that time people were just showing up I had made one phone call to a, a close friend and she had called other people and then they had called other people in our ch our community and our church group would just come and just leave things on our front porch and I, I mean we had an infant bathtub we had um, what else eats just everything clothes diapers wipes I mean manicure kit hooded towels I mean things you don't even need we crib yeah we had everything everything you could think that we would need and it was just overwhelming it was amazing and so Sammy called and said you know what do you need and I said I'm looking at this list and I'm like the only thing I can think of that I haven't seen yet are infant socks and he's like that's it we don't need bottles we don't need pacifiers we don't need anything I'm like no we just need like baby socks that's it and he was like okay I guess I'll go to Walmart and get baby socks and so he hangs up and a couple minutes later the doorbell rings and you know I pick up the baby and we go to the door and there's just a gift sack just on the front porch and it's got tissue paper in it and we come back inside and someone had just dropped it off people were so gracious in that they know you have a new baby and anytime we would get a placement they would want to help but they also wouldn't want to overwhelm us or overwhelm the kiddo that had just been you know through a traumatic time and so that a lot of times they would just leave stuff on our porch so we came in and I don't know if Ethan opened it or Hannah or Noah one of them did and sure enough in that bag was baby socks I couldn't even make this stuff up just baby socks and for a baby boy so it was somebody who obviously knew that this little newborn was a boy and so my husband came home carrying a Walmart sack and the little baby had socks on he's like he's got socks on and I was like I know you will not believe this and guys it's a silly story in some ways but really you know 
it just showed that God takes care of his people. We had stepped out kind of in faith and you're kind of nervous. I mean, this is kind of a, it, it's a hard situation. I mean, people who foster, I mean, I might, it, it's hard. It's beautiful and it's hard. And sometimes you can feel alone or maybe forgotten. I know. And you know, the Lord just never let us feel that way. People came around us and loved us and supported us and he provides through community. And so I wanted to tell you that story to tell you that Life is so much sweeter with people. I encourage you to find people who are like-minded that you can lock arms with and walk with, that you can minister and serve others with. It's just so sweet. And sometimes they would bring things like baby socks and meals, tangible things. And other times they'd just sit and cry with me or hug me. And um, it's just community is a beautiful thing. So thanks. That's it. You can hit stop. <laughs> Subscribe.